Okay, so in part two, we completed two transfers, and I'll take this down now. This gray sheet of paper really doesn't do us any good anymore. You can save it, you can also recycle it. Now you're gonna notice when you do your graphite transfer, sometimes you get little smudges or ghost lines. You can erase those if you want, but again, don't worry about making this too pretty by darkening lines and that type of thing, because we are gonna paint over this and we'll find a lot of the details in the paint. So you should have two transfers, one on the top and one on the bottom. In the middle, we're going to take a nine step value scale. Those will be in the tray by the door. And we're going to place this right in between. Okay, now you can see that mine is a little bit larger than I need. So I'm gonna fold that down and tape it into the middle. And I wanna make sure that I'm kind of splitting the difference between those two. And we're gonna just tape this on here. And rather than measure, we're gonna grab our ebony pencil. And we're just gonna extend these lines upward and make little hash marks. Okay, extend it up on each one of these. And we don't need it to be perfect. We're just trying to create a practice area. We're not gonna use this whole space either. But the reason I folded it is so, that, so I could do it on the bottom as well. Now one trick that might be helpful to you is to keep that taped on there and to use the bottom as sort of a guideline. You can create um, a nice straight edge that way. And then you'll take this off. Please make sure that before you put it back in the tray, you take all the tape off, okay? And we'll return that in a second. But now you should have these little hash marks and you can grab a ruler if you want to. The rulers are underneath the deer head here in this top left drawer. So if you want it to be real particular, you can use a ruler. I'm just gonna freehand mine, and I'm just gonna kind of connect these two. You can see it's a little shaky, but it doesn't need to be perfect. We're just creating a little practice area. And this is where we're gonna practice our first watercolor washes. And then I'm just gonna pick, drop that, pick it up real quick. Uh, I'm just gonna then go across the top here, connecting these dots. And since I want to have a little bit of room underneath my building for some of the details in here, um, this will probably become the bottom edge of my first painting. So I'm going to erase these hash marks. And this is what you need to have on your paper by the end of the day. So two transfers and a nine step value scale. Doesn't need to be super perfect, but that should be on your paper. And then because everybody's paper is gonna look exactly the same, please don't forget to put your name on there before you hand it back to the sub. Okay, good luck guys.